Bandeham Shri Guru The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is. Seventh chapter, text number four, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on the 10th of August, 1974, in Brindavan, India. Earth, water, fire, air, ether, mind, intelligence, and false ego. Altogether, these eight comprise my separated material energies. So, Bhumi Rapunalo Vayu, Kang Mana Buddhi Revacha, Ahamkara, Itiyang Me Bhinna Prabhiti Astala. Bhinna means separated. Separated means Krishna explains in the uh, Bhagavad Gita that Maya uh, Tatamidang Sarvam. Jagat Abhakta Murtina. Krishna is everywhere as it is confirmed in the Brahma Samhita. Eka Pasau Rachayatum Jagadanna Kuti. Jat Shakti Rasti Jagadanna Chayadadantam. Annantarastham Paramanu Chayantarastham. Govindam Adi Purusham Tamaham Bhaja. Krishna by his one plenary portion. When we say of Krishna, Krishna is not alone. Krishna has unlimited expansion. Just like one expansion is Paramatma, Ishara Sarvabhutanam Riddeshi Arjuna Krishna expands himself. There are millions and trillions of living entities. Anantaya kalpa. The living entity is such an anantaya kalpa. So Krishna's expansion is also ananta. Not only within the heart of all living entities, but he is within the atom. Annantarastham paramanuchayam. But this is only one plenary portion expansion of Krishna. Therefore in the morning we are studying uh, yesterday that to understand Krishna philosophically or in truth he requires little intelligence. Therefore Krishna says, Manushanam Sahasreshu Kasti Jatasri, Jatatama Vishidyan. So uh, Krishna expands by his energy, one of the energy, external energy, therefore it is called apara. Krishna will explain in the next verse, aparayam, inferior energy. For Krishna, there is no superior and inferior. But for us, it is superior and inferior. Because Krishna is the Supreme Spirit Soul. Take for example, just like electricity is producing heat and cooler. There is refrigerator that is being worked out by the electric energy, and the heater is also being worked out by the electric energy. So we may distinguish this, that this is heat and this is cold, but for Krishna there is no such distinction. That will be understood by further explanation of this chapter. So these energies, the external energy, Krishna says 
they are separated. Separated means you cannot perceive Krishna directly from this energy. All materialistic scientists, they cannot understand that earth is also Krishna's energy, what is also Krishna's energy, fire is also Krishna's energy. Uh, but their energy, that they can understand. They are accepting, the scientists, they are accepting that these are different energies, but whose energy that they do not know. Therefore Krishna is explaining here this, that it is my energy, separated energy. If we analytically study how water can be energy of Krishna, we should study Krishna and Krishna's energies very intelligently. Where from this vast water of ocean came into existence. But we can understand from Bhagavad-gītā that this vast water has come from Krishna's energy. Now try to understand how Krishna's energy can produce so uh, large amount of water. So far I am concerned, I study in this way, that we produce perspiration from our body. Uh, that perspiration may be one ounce of water, but that is produced from my body. Uh, Krishna has got inconceivable energy. I have got also inconceivable energy. How the water is coming out, I do not know. It is inconceivable. But it is com- coming out, that's a fact. So I am a very small, teeny living entity. If I can produce, because I am always limited, therefore my energy is also limited. But Krishna is unlimited, so He can produce water from the perspiration of His body unlimited. We have to understand like that, otherwise it is not possible to understand how apa water came from the energy of Krishna. It is coming from the living entity. Water is not coming from matter. Just like your perspiration is not coming. When the body is dead, the water is not coming. But so long you are living, the perspiration is there. Therefore, the source of all material element is originally the supreme life, not matter. That is explained here. Bhumi Rapana Lobai. But they are separated. How they are separated? That is explained in a defined verse. Maya Tatamidam Sadvam Jagat Abhakta Murtina Masthani Sarva Bhutan Naham Tesu Avastita. It is separated because in this material world you cannot directly perceive the presence of the Supreme Personality of God. Nāham teshu avasti. I am not present there. Although it is coming from my energy, still I am not present there. This is simultaneously one and different philosophy. Here Krishna says that ahaṅkāra iti yaṅve bhinda prakṛtiyat. Everything is finite. Just like the earth is grosser, than the water. Water finite. Earth you cannot move, but water can move. Therefore it is finite. And finer than the earth is the fire. And finer than the fire is air. And finer than the air is ether. And finer than the ether is the mind. And finer than the mind is intelligence, and finer than intelligence is my identity, ahaṅkā, and finer than the ahaṅkā is the soul. You have to study soul, finer, 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 finer. 
It is also stated in the Bhagavad Gita in another place that uh, Indriyani Pararahu, Indriyabha Paramana, Manasastu Paro Buddhi, in this way, finer, finer. And the soul is very small magnitude, fine. Keshadra Sadhubhaga Sadhubhaga Kalpita Sachi. So everything is explained in the Srimad Bhagavad Gita. If we accept, then we get full knowledge. The beginning of the Bhagavad Gita, in this chapter, Krishna says, asaṁ-saṁ samagraṁ Without any doubt and in full, as you can understand me, I am going to explain. So these five elements, gross elements, mumi uh, and finer than mauna buddhi ahankar, mind, intelligence, and false ego. False ego means I am identifying with this matter, which I am not. Therefore, ahankar, this ahankar is false ahankar, uh, which I am not. I am accepting that I am this body, but actually I am not. Therefore, I am saying it is false ego. Real ahankar is aham brahma. There is also ahankar. Ahankar cannot be abolished. Ahankar will be there. But ahankar has to be cleansed. Therefore, bhakti marga, the path of bhakti yoga, is the cleansing process, clearing process. Cheto dhatpana marjanam. Everything is there, but it has to be clean. That is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's uh, mission. By chanting the Hare Krishna mantra, you will be able to clean your misconception of life. Misconception of life is that I am this matter. This is ahankar, false ahankar. But I am actually not this matter. I am spirit soul. Therefore, pure ahankar is aham brahma, spirit, soul. That is the beginning of understanding. Aham brahma, that is also explained in the Bhagavad Gita that brahma bhuta prasannatma nasuchati nakam. If one understands this fact that I am not this material body, I am a spirit, soul. That is called brahma So gradually, by understanding the teachings of Bhagavad-gītā and practicing it in life, we shall very easily understand the ātma That is the real business of human life. Unfortunately, we are not interested in the matter of understanding ātma śrūta-vyādīni rājendra nirāṁ śanti sahasra. Śrūkadeva Goswami says, My dear King, you are speaking to Mahārāja Pariksi that for ordinary man there are many subject matter of hearing. śrūta-vyādīni. śrūta-vyā means the subject matter for hearing. So Śrūkadeva Goswami says, for the ordinary man. Who is that ordinary man? Apasyatam ātmatattam. Apasyatam. One who has no interest to see what he is. Uh, everyone is under this uh, contemplation that he is this body and his bodily interest is the prime interest. But nobody sees the ātmatattam. Uh, therefore, Sukhdev Goswami says, Srutubhyadini Rajendra Ninan Santi Sahasrasa. We have got so many books, so many newspapers, so many magazines we hear and read, but we are not interested in hearing and Bhagavad Gita or Srimad Bhagavatam, where Atma Tattam, the science of soul, is described. 
So why they are not interested? La Apusata Matmadattam Griesu Griemedna. Griesu, a household life. They are thinking this is life. Tatala Saikate Baribindu Sama Sutta Mita Ramani Samadhi. Vidyavati, a great poet, Vaishnava poet, he has sung that so we are happy within this material world. How? Ah. Sutta Mita Ramani Samadhi. Sutta. Sutta means children. And Mita means friends. And Ramani means woman. So actually, our material life existing is society, friendship, and love. If there are nice, beautiful women at home, children, and friends, we are taking this is our life. But that is not life. Real life is to understand what I am. Atmatattva. Atmatattva. Without understanding Atmatattva, the life is failure. Therefore, Vidyapati sings, Tatala Saikate Baribindu Sama Sutta Mita Ramani Samaj. We have created the society of friendship and love in this material world for becoming happy. Everyone wants to be happy because that is his natural inclination. Anandamaya Vyasat. As Krishna is happy always, we will see Krishna is enjoying his life with Srimati Radharani and the gopis or the cowherd's boy or his father, mother, that is the spiritual, everything. Ananda Chinmaya Rasa Pratibhavital, that is Ananda Chin, a similar imitation here in this material world. The same thing, Sutamita Ramani Samadhi, but it is false. Uh, just like you see water in the desert. You see there is vast mass of water in the desert and the animal falls say, go to drink the water and die. Similarly, in this material world, this Sitamuta Ramani Samaje, whatever we are trying to become happy, that is like will of the wish, false thing. Real life is in the society of Krishna. Bhaktivinoda Thakur therefore says, Krishna saṅśār kara chari If you enter into the society, friendship and love of Krishna, that is perfection of that. Not in this false, humi rapana labhai. They are separated in that. This is also made by the Krishna's energy. But it is separate, reflection, false reflection, chāyeva. Chāyo means just like shadow, just like you see your face in the mirror, but it is not actually the face. It is simply the face is here and the shadow is there. Similarly, this material world, mira bhumi rapa analavai, bhangamana buddhi, they are just like reflection of the real life in the spiritual world. Therefore it is called separated energy. Why Krishna says? Uh, Krishna says here that bhinna, bhinna means separate. The example I have already, uh, sometimes I give, just like I speak in the tape recorder. When you play, replay the tape recorder, the same voice will come. But that is not myself. That is my separated energy. With my energy I have spoken something, I have vibrated some sound that is recorded in the tape. When it is played back, it produces exactly the same sound, but still it is separated from. Try to understand, this material world is like that, vinna, separate. The real life is in the spiritual world. Therefore, in the Simad Bhagavata, it is said, Satam Param Dhimai. The real truth, 
the absolute truth. I am offering my obeisance to the absolute truth. So Krishna is the absolute truth. Krishna is explaining himself. If we want to understand Krishna, then instead of speculating about Krishna, better take what Krishna is teaching himself. That will be perfect. So the real understanding of Krishna, that this material world is also Krishna. But we do not know how to use it for Krishna. If you take to that process, Krishna's energy should be for Krishna's purpose. That is Vaishnava philosophy. Vaishnava philosophy never says that this world is false. Why it is false? It is not false. As the Mahavadi philosopher says, the Brahma Sattva Jagan Mitha. No. Why Jagan Mitha? Just like this temple is constructed. If somebody says, yes, it is very nicely constructed, but it is all false. Shall I be happy? No. And actually why it is false? It is not false. It is Krishna's energy. The Bhumi Rapa What is this temple? This temple is combination of this Bhumi Rapa Ranalabhai. Tejo Bharimit Vinimayam. Ah, this brick, what is this brick? Brick means you take earth, mix with water, and put it into the fire, it becomes brick. And there is air. So it is Krishna's energy. It is not material. It is Krishna's energy. Because the philosophy is that Krishna's energy should be uh, used for Krishna's purpose. Then it is spiritual. That is our philosophy. Srila Rupa Goswami this, gives this formula. Prapun chikataya buddhya hari sammandi bhastuna mumukshubi paritryaga halgu vai raga kata. Halgu vai raga. Halgu means false. Ah, false. Ah, the halgu from river halgu. Here in India there is a river halgu. You will see that there is no water on the surface of the river. But if you push your hand within the uh, sand, you will get water. So, Pholgu Vairāga means that I am giving up, renouncing everything superficial. But within me there is a desire how to become God. I am giving up, but I cannot give up this desire. Uh, there is big, big philosophy on this point. They, they are trying to become one with God. But a devotee does not try to become one with God or separated from God. They are satisfied. In whatever condition God keeps him, he is satisfied. So separated energy, in this way you have to understand that although this energy is separated from Krishna, it can be used for Krishna. And when it is used for Krishna, then it is spiritual. It is no more material. Material means forgetfulness. Karmis are constructing big, big houses, skyscraper houses. The purpose is to enjoy himself. The same thing Mumir upon or by mixing together brick or stone or cement. If it is used for Krishna, then it is Jukta Bhairag. Anasatasya Vishayar Jatharam Upajanjata Nirmandi Krishna Sambanda Jukta Bhairaga Mutya. The our philosophy is that although this material world, Mumir upon or by, they are separated from Krishna. We can use it for Krishna. That's like the same example. The tape recorder, it is material, but it can be used for Krishna's purpose. Ah, we are writing books, recording in the tape recorder. That Nirmande Krishna Sambandha, Jukta Vairagra Bhutchuk. There is no need of giving up this Bhumi Rapa Analabhai. 
as the Mahamadhi philosopher said. You can utilize, after all it is Krishna's energy. This is the best philosopher. That one man's property should be used for the proprietor. That is the best use. So we do not neglect this bhumi of although it is separated energy, but when we reconnect in the service of the Lord, it becomes spiritual. Uh, it requires little time to understand. Uh, the example, as we have given many times, that you put an iron rod in the fire, it becomes warm, warmer, warmer, warmer. Then when it is red hot, it is no longer iron rod, but it is fire. Similarly, everything in this material world, mumi, rapa, analabha, Although it is separated from Krishna, if you engage it in the service of Krishna, it is no more material, it is spiritual. Uh, this is the philosophy of Vaishnava. Nidbandi Krishna Sambandha Jukta Bhairagam Vichyata. So this is Krishna consciousness. If we always remember that everything, whatever we are using, that is Krishna's energy. Uh, we are also Krishna's energy. Jiva Bhuta, that will be explained in the next part. Aparayam itastu vidhime prakriti para. Another prakriti, para prakriti. Uh, spiritual energy. What is that? Jiva Bhuta, Mahabhava, Jayidam, Dhaja. So both of us. The matter is also Krishna's energy. And the spirit soul is also Krishna's energy. And there is another spiritual world that is also Krishna's energy. Everything is Krishna's energy. So when the spiritual energy is engaged in the uh, service of Krishna in this material energy, bhumi rapanalabhai, that also becomes converted into spiritual energy exactly like that iron rod converted into fire. Uh, so it requires intelligence if you think uh, how all things can be changed into spiritual world. That is Krishna consciousness moment. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. Yeah.